I am literally making myself unemployable for my future potential jobs. Let's do this! Oh hey, welcome to my bedroom. I'm gonna feel shy. I'm not shy because you've done my apartment tour. You watched that video, right? So it's not like anything strange. You know this place, okay? Outside closer. We're gonna do it from here. Let's get into it. You know what? I can't do this. Like, okay, this is better. Okay, so before we jump right into today's main topic, English education in Japan, let's just take a step back and allow me to introduce myself formally. So for those of you who may not know who I am, I am a full Japanese born and raised in Japan. And at the age of 19, despite the lack of English fluency, I made a fateful decision to go to the States for college. Got depressed a little bit, you know, just like any typical Japanese person would. And I graduated with a bachelor's degree in linguistics, came back to Japan and worked as an English learning teacher slash coach in central Tokyo. Got a perfect score on TOEIC on my first try without any pre-study. So if you would excuse me, I'd like to think that I know what I'm talking about. Really. So as an English learner, I've always enjoyed learning English. I basically fell in love with English. So it came pretty natural to me that I want to become an English teacher. I taught a variety of Japanese people from college students to CEOs. Usually when they travel out, they are more open-minded. So that's why I trust his view on things than the strict strict japanese anyways let's continue watching big companies to even like so english teachers who are working in public schools so i was basically living in my dream but six months in or so i hit the rock bottom i had this huge realization that english teaching is bullshit. I know But I just said it's super productive, but let me explain myself, okay? So in Japan, we tend to associate the Japanese people's English ability with the quality of English education. We often compare Japanese people's English with other Asian people's English, let's say South Koreans, and jump straight into the conclusion that Japanese people's English sucks because English education in Japan sucks. Disregarding all the linguistic factors, on TV and YouTube or just in everyday conversation, I see people paying a lot of attention to the educational system. No, son, you, the mother revoke your license, your Japanese citizenship, your two, you're not easy. Saying it should be more natural and practical, just as if that would eventually make a drastic change in Japanese people's English. In Japan, so many people, like almost everyone, say we study English at least for six years, yet we can't speak English. Well, Crazy! But when you really sit back and rethink about that statement, you realize that's such a bull crap. I used to say the same thing when I was in high school, so this is more of like me ranting to my past self, but you didn't study English for 6 years. What you actually did was just to take a 15 minute class of English, maybe 3 to 5 times a week, in which you didn't even pay full attention all the time, let's be honest, over the period of 6 years. Of course that's not enough, right? Like, what do you expect? Like, it's almost equivalent to saying stuff like Have you ever heard that? Do you live in Japan? Have you ever experienced that? I bet you have. Oh, they study English all their lives, but they can't speak English. Mm, look at your remark to say. But nobody says that, right? Nobody blames that one science teacher who didn't make you a scientist because that's not how it works. As simple as that. If you want to become a scientist, you have to work really hard, both inside and outside the classroom. If you want to become a professional athlete, you have to invest out of your private time practicing it on your own, not just your PE classes or extracurricular club activities. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to English, the blame is always put on the English teachers and the educational system. Like, I don't see the point of spending so much time having this discussion because I've never seen or heard of anyone that goes, I mastered my second language because I had this great teacher and all I did was to take his classes and do his homework. It's because language is heavily dependent on how much you immerse yourself in it and also how much you practice. It's not a matter of how good of a teacher or learning environment you get. What I've learned over the years of learning English and also seeing people around me who are like me learning English mm -hmm. is that 
language inherently can't be taught by someone else in a classroom environment, whether it's by Japanese teacher or native English speaker. You cannot just implement those little fun speaking activities in the classroom where students talk with each other in their crappy English and expect them to acquire the language. If anything, classroom English teaching should be regarded just as an introduction or just another way to supplement the student's study, not the main source for their input, let alone the place for their output. Yet, this whole discussion of English yeah like let me just make a point right there what he said it's about how much you immerse yourself in the language and how much you practice <laughs> we know like we who live in japan we know that they don't want to practice they don't want to practice they're too nervous and they're they want to make it perfect perfect grammar and i'm like especially when you're speaking on an informal level you're speaking to a native we're not looking for grammar points once we can communicate and understand what you're saying you're good you don't want to talk to so some person said people don't want to sit beside them on the train and some foreigners some japanese say oh it's because i'm afraid that the foreigner will talk to me and i'm afraid i can't speak english which some of that is bs of course but you know so yeah like education should be like this or that has been going on for decades and the result is that the viewers so the students will consume this idea that there's always something wrong with english education in japan and thus that's, that's the biggest cause we don't speak english it always gives the students an excuse and room to say well i can't speak english because japanese english teachers suck when in reality it's just that they didn't study for shit because the cold truth is that Learning language is boring sometimes, language yeah, learning is boring. lonely and on top of that, you also have to like the culture and the history of where your target language is spoken and if you don't think that's worth it, then it's not for you. For me, the reason why I quit my teaching job is that I didn't find it rewarding to spend so much time trying to find reasons or motivations to learn English for someone else when they simply don't want to just so that my company can make more profit you know speaking english is beneficial you know that's already established but does it make it necessary for everyone absolutely not private language schools are also part of this issue since english teaching is a big business industry a lot of those companies claim they figured out the best learning method and try really hard to come up with those fake reasons why you need to study English when there's no such things. And yet, I have to somehow pretend True. that I am the one who can make other people fluent in English? Hell no! Also, not to mention, the said best method is often not the best way for the students. Some of them, some of them simply say they don't want to learn English because they don't want to travel. They say they want to feel it, you see? You, you ever go to, like, I'm talking to people who has been in Japan, but listen, We've gone to like, I've gone to like a store or the library or some, you know, place of business and persons are like, oh, it's a foreigner, foreigner, oh, uh, uh, somebody, somebody help. And I'm in my mind, I'm like, you forgot, you should, <laughs> in my mind, I'm like, you must come and deal with me yeah you must come talk to me you must face the embarrassment because when a teacher them a teach you know, the RDLT in the classroom a short out them throat all on the door while listen mm -hmm. when the ALTs are there doing most activities and this and that wanna do sleep mm -hmm. so I must feel it now man can be extended so they Go can keep milking guy, their yeah. students. I'm not talking about my company in particular, you but still, I didn't want to be in the industry in general and be part of the problem. You know, it's not that I don't believe there's room for improvement in Japanese English education. I mean, it is bad. That's no brainer. You know, I do think that it can be improved and it's important. But what's also important to teach is that learning a language is extremely hard. Money. There is no magic behind it, and it may not be meant for everybody, and that is totally okay. What they need to know is how much commitment and dedication they have to make. Instead of trying to come up with better ways of teaching English that works for every single Japanese person, we have to teach them that learning a language in a traditional classroom environment. Yes 
Is unrealistic. 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 Is unrealistic.